All right, YouTube, welcome to the channel. Got a little bit of a late start today. Uh, gonna be working on this rig right back here. Toyota, as you see. Not my normal fare. Most of what I work on is a little bit more battle scarred. Uh, but this is a really nice rig from a friend of mine uh, and he needed a uh, big brake kit put on it. Uh, full exhaust, uh, new aluminum radiator and a higher amp alternator. I'll show you those guys here in a minute. Um, radiators from CSF. I'll pull it out. We'll get some uh, video of it in the, here in a little while. Uh, the exhaust full system. I forget the brand of the exhaust. I'll look that up. But it is fully coated inside and out by Jet Hot. He got that back here a little bit ago. Not really excited about the color. I think that black just carries and shows too much dirt. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of roughness to it. Um, that always just makes it really hard to clean. Brake kit's awesome though, it's by StopTech. Uh, just massive rotors. Uh, I think those are 13s. Front calipers, six piston. Really nice units. And then over here, uh, we got the alternator. Full aluminum chassis, really nice machine work. Real nice unit. Uh, apologize about the camera work. Some of this is brand new to me. Working on rigs is not, uh, but trying to video it and, and get it out to you guys to see uh, is a little bit new. Yeah, I know there's some other stuff in here. Y'all, let's stay focused on this one right now. All right, well, let's uh, get started. All right, guys, so we're gonna be replacing the rotors, calipers, the brake lines, all the way up to here. And then, uh, uh, sorry about the camera angles there. We will get that started. Uh, hopefully these come off pretty easy. If not, uh, you can see we got a bolt, a hole here and a hole here, they're threaded. Uh, you can run a metric uh, bolt in there and uh, just push them off. Uh, maybe these ones will come off fairly easy with a rubber mallet. Uh, getting started. All right, hopefully it's not too dark. We'll get you in here. Let me get a light. Somewhere. I spend more time walking around looking for stuff than I do working, it seems like. And these cameras are something else. Let me tell you. All right, here we go. Got a light. See if that doesn't shine. It. All right. So we're going to remove this bolt right there. That bolt so that we can hang this up, up here, uh, up out of the way. Um, as you can see, it's through there. We'll end up having to break that loose a little bit later. But uh, we've got these two bolts, that one, and this one, 17 millimeters. We'll hang all of that up. That way we're not losing fluid uh, all the time while we deal with getting the rotor off. Once the rotor's off, then we'll worry about breaking the lines loose and uh, replumbing them and setting the new calipers on. Okay, these are labeled right and left. So the direction of the slots matter. Uh, so we've got both R's on this side. We are on the passenger side. I've already laid out uh, the other side.
All right, guys, so we got into our first clearance issue. Uh, the rotor actually fits, no problem on the dust. We're just gonna have to do a little bit of trimming uh, right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, you can see uh, right there, we got a little bit of clearance issue. And I assume we've got the same thing on the bottom. Uh, yeah, so I'll mark those with a marker. Uh, then we'll take everything back apart and we will trim them with the grinder, cut off wheel, uh, then deburr it and uh, probably slap just a touch of paint on there uh, just to make sure that we stick with uh, his build uh, he's been doing an awesome job really particular about it um, as you can see even though this is a street vehicle he keeps it pretty darn clean so so we got the rough trim done need to uh, clean it up a little bit just touch it up a little bit of paint maybe a paintbrush uh, you can see we are made it up now um, I don't have the rotor in it so that it actually shows a little bit better. Uh, good clearance all the way around. I uh, don't have to worry about anything rubbing. Uh, hopefully the pads don't hit right there. Uh, gonna have to take a look at that. Better double check that before we go too far. Um, I am a little concerned uh, that they might be an issue. Uh, so we might need to take and just run a little bit of that off. Um, double check that now.
All right, so we got it done. Uh, we'll get it put together. All my batteries are dead. Apparently, I'm not a very good video guy. Uh, but uh, we'll get batteries charged up, eat some lunch, and come back and finish this up. still bleed the brakes um, everything's back together though I uh, got a little bit of a mess took a little minute with the uh, brake lines as you'll be able to see uh, so now we're just gonna have to rinse and repeat on the other side I probably won't film the other side it's just gonna be more of the same um, and I got to get hump and I, I got to get some of this done uh, today so we can move on to the exhaust and radiator this weekend uh, today being Friday um, and I got a football game to go to tomorrow with my son, so uh, always losing a little bit of time it seems like. But hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I ended up getting smart this time. I went and did the other side, figured out what I was doing. Um, should make a little better video content for you all uh, because you won't see me jerking around going back and forth. Um, so we got the rear to do. I'm going to get you in there. We're going to go over real quick uh, the couple of items that uh, we're going to have to do, what has to be cut. Uh, what bolts are coming off that kind of thing uh, and then we'll pan back and uh, get on it and knock this one out uh, my buddy doug is uh over here from next door right now helping me out uh, he had this afternoon off uh, so i got a little help this afternoon and uh, we'll see what we can get done all right coming in here on the rears uh same thing we've got the little bolt holes on these uh, to help push them off uh, the caliper is going to come off with four bolts uh, hopefully you can see this. We got one, two, three, and four. Uh, and then the brake lines get disconnected here and uh, this hose comes off. Um, everything else is pretty much a direct swap. What I will do is get in there here in a little bit after we get everything off and show you where we're cutting the dust shield and the caliper bracket. Uh, those are somewhat specific. The kit came with the template, uh, so I'll show you the template layout. Um, and then we'll do some cutting and grinding. All right.
Yeah, right. All right, so we got everything off, and as you can see, uh, we're down to just the dust shield and the emergency brake components. Uh, I have the template installed here. I used the bolts that originally came with uh, the vehicle, the OEM ones, to hold the template in place. I've marked it with a pen. Uh, we're going to cut it straight off of here with the cutoff wheel. And then the dust shield, as I learned on the other side, uh, this lip here uh, has to be cut off as the new rotors are uh, all the way out to here uh, so they won't fit inside. We're going to cut on the outside uh, up in this area uh, all the way around uh, so that we're flush with that line. Um, and that will give us enough clearance. Then we'll clean it up and paint it. And that'll be that. And then after that, we can throw everything back together. Uh, the new brackets go in. Uh, I'll show you those as we get going here uh, after I get this stuff cut off.
that's what we removed. All right, brought you guys back in to see what we've gotten done. So the new bracket is in. We trimmed it. You can kind of see right back here where it's been trimmed. That's just a nice straight line all the way down. And then the dust shield, that lip that was out here has been removed all the way around uh, to make room when the new disc goes on because you'll see it comes out to here. Uh, so at this point, we've got to put the disc on, load the caliper, and place it into uh, place the caliper on after the uh, new disc is in there. Uh, and then put on the brake line and uh, this side will be done. Uh, that'll only leave bleeding the brakes, uh, which I'm probably going to do tomorrow. I'm losing light. We have completed this with the exception of bleeding it. Um, I'll show you with the completed project uh, at this point. Uh, new caliper, four piston in the rear, six piston in the front. Uh, these are uh, 384 millimeter rotors um, with new uh, steel, stainless steel braided brake lines uh, everything's installed did have to cut the shield you can see uh, coming back here um, that the shield was going to be way inside the rotor and uh, wasn't going to fit so we did have to cut those um, and then we had to trim off some pieces of the uh, mounting bracket in the back uh, didn't really have to do as much trimming on the front um, but uh, this is the completed uh, in the front. Uh, we're now six piston rotors. Um, just about the same size fronts as what it had on it before. A um, little bit of trimming here on the on the dust shield. Uh, that's about it. And then uh, pretty straightforward install. Overall, I think it's a pretty good kit. Uh, everything seemed to fit um, just like they said it would. Instructions were somewhat eh, but uh, that's what you get sometimes. Um, they kind of expect you to know what you're doing. Uh, so with that, we're going to sign off for today. Uh, we'll get back after the exhaust tomorrow. And